Um, and we're just going to go in order. And if we see something we don't want to talk about, we just don't have to. Okay, so this is right now I'm intrigued. Right now I'm very, very intrigued. Um, so it's in the woods. And, and here's the thing is, here's the, two, here's the two things that jump out to me about this image. Is this vessel is in the woods. Looks like a, just a lovely spot to camp out. And it's just large enough to definitely live in. Definitely, you could, yeah, you could set up shop in the back of this thing. I mean, for for sure. Spare bed over the cab, I mean, for, you know, just kind of a twin size. And so that's that's a motor. Oh, yeah. Oh, check. T- I mean, whew, man, that's, that's, come on. Like, you haven't, you haven't slept somewhere worse. I mean, and it's not probably, this isn't going to be, you know, up there with some of the, you know, more, nice places that you've been but come on like you're watching craigslist gold like you've slept somewhere worse than this be honest i mean it's um it's sealed from the environment i mean you have a roof you literally i mean you literally you literally have a roof over your head and furnished um it is furnished um with uh you know a seat and um this could also be a seat no it's not a seat it's the it's the engine cover is 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 that but no there is one seat i mean you know you don't need more than two seats this is really a studio um uh, type of uh type of home um so yeah i mean i'm going to tell you what i would do if it was me and i you know was was living here is that this seat could be extended you could you know um, What's the word for it? You could recline it all the way back. And I think that, um, you know, it's going to be just shy of a, of a twin size in terms of, uh, you know, space. And then uh, to, to your left, what you've got is some upholstery. Um, it's some kind of upholstered material. And 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 and, and I don't know where it's, I, I mean, I, I don't know what or, or, or what. I mean, it's, I don't, I, I probably couldn't like vouch for its pedigree or anything. I mean, I don't know if it's like, Egyptian cotton or or thousand thread or anything, but I mean, let's you know, let's let's be real. If you had to, you could you could you could I mean, sleep under this. Um, so I mean, basically, uh, I mean, it's two things. It's a, it's a fully furnished apartment and also a car. Um, I mean, so when and how much does this cost? Seven hundred dollars. So when the millennials tell you, "Oh my God, I can't, I can't afford anything. I'm 37 and live with my mom because I can't have a house and a car," it's like, well, um, maybe not. Um, no, we can't all just um, afford a, a high rise in Manhattan and uh, Mercedes. And who really wants all that shit anyways? I mean, just take a, take a look at her here. I mean, you got a beautiful spot in the woods. You could absolutely just be in, in, in there. And, um, yeah, so I don't know what's the deal with the millennials. Um, but, but back to my – so another thing that caught my eye with this is the fact that the jack. I mean, that's – because the rear end of the, the, the vehicle is – uh well i don't know i don't know if it's it's up in the air i mean it, it appears to maybe be on cinder blocks i i don't know i i don't know i don't know there's some mysteries some mysteries and uh you got a wheel yeah okay and um so yeah and then these are then the front seats so the the, the this one back here same model and it's uh, doubles as a spare um, and really then you don't even, you don't need a passenger seat. I mean, that's kind of a, so you got three basically in the rotation and you just never run out of places to places to rest. And, um, you know, it's like having a, having a fifth spare tire or fourth tire. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? Full size that you rotate. And, um, yeah, I mean, wow. And I didn't even know this at first, but I mean, checking out the back here, I mean, in addition to the, the the seating arrange bedding seating arrangements from before, um, we're also seeing um, 
maybe another chair of some kind, um, and also a desk slash table. So I mean. And, and and let's all be honest here. Like that's that's a that's a nice piece, and desk table. You, you, I mean, and again, I know you. I know you've eaten a meal off off some off off. This isn't a, the worst you've done. Come on, you could totally you could totally have your have your eat your subway tuna off of it. I would. So, um, and also the orange coil. I mean, and I don't know if that's extra uh, cost, but I mean for seven hundred then you're really starting out really good, $700, and uh, just a steal, just a steal for, I mean, first house, first car, all wrapped in one. I mean, you're out on your own, you're an independent person, and you're you're living your life, and 700 bucks, um, you know, I would say if you can't scrape that together, I, you know, then yeah, maybe look in the mirror, to be, to be quite frank. If you can't, I think $700, yes, you should be able to, I think you should be able to come up with that. So, uh, runs and drives, but poor. I mean, runs and drives. I mean, that's a, that's honestly, I wasn't even thinking we would be at runs and drive. I mean, for run, I, I was thinking maybe needs a little bit of, you know, uh, some some things to get started. But if it runs and drives, I mean, poor power, poor power. I mean, that's that's like the whole slogan. <laughs> that's the whole slogan. It is poor power. I mean, that's the name of this truck is poor power. Poor power. Poor power. <laughs> oh man, yeah. This 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 is my poor power. This here is poor power. She's my home and my my vehicle. Poor power. Per, it, per, and it's kind of purple. I mean, it, it could even be purple purple poor power. Uh, you know, it's I mean it's maroon. That's purple. That's the thing about maroon is you can call it red, you can call it purple. Like nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna have a. That's the thing about this is you just it's whatever you're feeling at the moment is this whole um, arrangement that we've got. So runs and drives, it's poor power, poor power. I mean, but that's like you don't need to, you don't need to fix that. That's like that's the theme. Um, an otherwise straight condition, um, and one owner and stored next to a barn, stored next to a barn. So, I mean, bonus, right? <laughs> stored next to a barn. Because that's that adds that adds that adds information. That does that sounds like a uh, I guess that was a fact. So, it was stored next to a barn. So, just take that into consideration. Just take that take that into think about that when you're it was stored next to a barn. Yeah. Well, um, you know, when at I mean, and, and you want to know the history, right? You want to know that you're getting something that's got, you know, kind of a traceable past. And so, you know, you come home in this and your you your mom asks you, well, you know, well, where is this from? Well, I was stored next to a barn, mom. So I don't see the issue and it needs a pressure wash. So he's honest. So there we go. 700 bucks. Bam. I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold. I, I don't. I'm, I'm just... You know, I'm not, uh, if this is for, but I'm going to let somebody else have it. I'm going to let, because, and that's for somebody who's trying to start out in life. 